Papillion La Vista Public Schools really believes that we need to give our students an opportunity to explore and enhance their opportunities. And one way of doing that is through 21st century skills and the application of the different academy programs we have within the district. One of those academy programs is the Zoo Academy. Coming to the Zoo Academy was definitely different. Uh, I didn't imagine myself cutting fish heads or feeding sharks or stingrays. Um, I was just thinking of being in another classroom, basically just learning about the zoo and different types of animals. The Zoo Academy is this wonderful partnership that we have with Papillion La Vista School District. And it's a, a high school on zoo grounds where students come here and complete their last two years of high school, their junior and senior year. Um, they get to interact and be part of the zoo. They get to work in the different animal areas. They get to be part of our strategic planning and helping us collect some research or data to determine the best um, avenues for our visitors to have a great experience here at the zoo. Monday and Wednesday we have class. We have block scheduling, which is about 90 minutes. We offer our English classes, our social studies classes, math classes, and science classes just like they would have at the high school setting. The only difference is we have kids who have come here with a specific interest in mind, so we can really gear our lessons and our curriculums towards what they're really wanting to do with their futures and in their lives. Core classes are different at the academy because we get a lot more hands-on activities in the zoo. We're never actually sitting in um, a desk. We are out in the zoo um, and like involving the zoo into class itself. One lesson that we do is we go over to the butterfly and insect pavilion and students choose a spider um, of their choice and then they research that spider so they have to use their science skills there, their research skills and then they have to recreate the spider web and um, they have to apply that calculate the slopes determine whether or not there are parallel lines or perpendicular lines And then Tuesday, Thursday, they go out and work with keepers. And that's why we went with the block scheduling, because it gives them more time out there, and it's more beneficial for the keepers, too. You know, the longer they can be out with the keepers, the more they're going to learn, the more they can help the keepers, you know, the better the relationship is. I think the best thing about the Zoo Academy program would have to be shadowing because we get a lot of experience in the work fields and also learn a lot about whatever field we're interested in. Ever since I was a little kid, uh, I've always wanted to work with animals, but I never really knew which ones to work with. And then when I went to the zoo, um, I started working in the aquarium. And after that, I just fell in love with fish and everything in the marine world, so. The opportunities that I have and to get hands-on with zookeepers, our teachers, um, other students, just working in the, like, in the zoo itself is a great opportunity. When we shadow in the aquarium, we'll feed, uh, we'll cut up diets for a lot of different fish, we'll feed out the diets, we clean a lot of tanks, we um, pretty much do whatever the zookeepers ask us to do, but it's really cool because we get, like how many kids get to feed an enemies for their science class. Some of the other things with the, they have science fair projects where they will, they could possibly work with keepers, say, in the aquarium or in the jungle. For my science fair project, I picked, um, I picked to do some enrichment with the giraffes. We noticed that the giraffes were pretty bored and they didn't really have much to do other than standing around and uh, like licking their noses like they usually do. So we decided to come up with a way to sort of enrich them and uh, help them have some brain stimulant. And for that we designed new ways for them to acquire their food through various puzzle feeders where they had to work with their dexterous tongues to get the food out. We do have to use books and you know do testing like the regular high schools. And just like the regular high school, that's very challenging for the kids. Our, for instance, our zoology book is a book that's used by several universities around the country. And I know it's very high quality, it's intense, but it's just part of the deal. And they understand that. And honestly, the more they learn now, the better it's going to be for them in college and on. Um, the Zoo Academy program is a, another avenue for public school systems to engage students who are not comfortable in that traditional high school or classroom situation. Um, the Zoo Academy program um, brings more relevance into the curriculum and it helps those students understand how this curriculum is um, benefiting them for the future, how it's developing the skills that they need to be successful um, citizens once they get out of high school.
I go to college uh, at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and my major is fisheries and wildlife. I want to become a marine biologist. I originally wanted to be a veterinarian, however, shadowing here at, in the nutrition lab, I found out that I'd rather be a nutritionist rather than a veterinarian. When you get into looking for an actual job in your career field, I mean, this is, you've already had hands-on experience with this. I mean, it's like you've already been working in the career you want to go in, so it's a really good head start on what you want to do in life. And that's why Nebraska loves our public schools. Nebraska loves our public schools. Nebraska loves our public schools.